What is going on everybody? My name is Baloo and welcome to the jungle. This is the channel where we take a very simple approach to technical analysis. We look at the price in the context of volume using the Wyckoff method. If that is something that interests you, then why don't you hit the subscribe button? I do this every single day, except for the days that I don't. And if you're new to this channel, I would like you to go ahead and sign up for the free newsletter. I do a weekly newsletter where we cover a lot of the new and, uh, you know, potentially profitable projects that uh, you know exist in this crazy space of 6,000 different coins. So how do you choose? Uh, we do a lot of diving into the technicals on the supply side of things, as well as when we have nice technical setups, we do a little bit of fundamental analysis as well. And the fundamentals come from the newsletters, the technicals are gonna come from this video. So if you're interested, I encourage you to go ahead and sign up for the free newsletter. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about Regal Finance. So Regal Finance, uh, this is one that just kind of came in from the uh, YouTube comment section. I'm going to go in blind. I'm going to take a look at uh, what it is and uh, kind of give you my, you know, raw and, and unedited approach to how I break down a project and what I look for for, you know, new projects. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go to CoinGecko. CoinGecko seems to be the place to be as far as the uh, DeFi stuff. And then we'll go Regal. Regal Finance. All right, so it's up at uh, $317. The market cap is 1.2 million. Uh, circulating supply. So this is kind of the interesting aspect of this coin is the tokenomics here. So 4,300 uh, 4, token supply. Uh, very, very, very cheap uh, for tokenomics like that. Again, you know, there's nothing, there's no... It's kind of a copycat, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing here. Is like, you know, a lot of these coins, they just keep getting lower and lower and lower supplies. It's kind of just playing into that, that, you know, try, they're just trying to be a YFI or a Wi-Fi, however you want to say it. And, uh, you know, it's exciting to think that maybe your token can go to $30,000, but, uh, you know, we need to see a little bit more on the fundamental side for that to become a reality. I have a sneaky suspicion that this is just a copycat, but that doesn't mean that other speculators might not see this number and just want to speculate that it can go up in value. Uh, you know, kind of like an unofficial, uh, official Ponzi scheme, I guess you could say. So total supply, 5,978 tokens, 24 hour volume, damn near the same as the entire market cap. So a lot of people coming in and a lot of people coming out, basically, you know, not uh, not great. Let's go to the max. Uh, it's trending in the right direction. You know, we, we are in an uptrend. We have a high, a low, a higher high, a higher low. So, so far, so good. That looks okay. It launched last Friday. Okay, so uh, very new project. It is available on Uniswap. It is available on Black Sea, whatever useless thing that has a medium trust score and bit thumb global shitty trust score just you know get it at uniswap so anyways uh let's go ahead and take a look at the project itself let's go to their site let's launch the app big bang has begun stake regal swap lp tokens and claim your very own bright regal okay farming Okay, so this is kind of the better way to go with these really high risk copycat, speculative, nonsense kind of coins that are just capitalizing on, on tokenomics alone. Uh, you know, I am being quite judgy here, but uh, you know what, let's look at the ex exchange. Yeah, it's the same. So this is a Uniswap knockoff. It's a copycat. Uh, unless they do something unique that contributes to the decentralized financial world, uh, to me, it's just capitalizing on speculation. And, uh, you know, it's a Ponzi scheme. You get into this token expecting that somebody else is going to pay more for your tokens so that you can sell at a higher price. It's, you know, it's not a, a formalized uh, Ponzi scheme. It's just, you know, it's a speculative thing. It's not something that I would be too into, but anyways, uh, with these types of plays, uh, farm it, just farm it. Just get the tokens given to you in the form of farming. So you can lock up some liquidity into this 
Your liquidity, you can always take your liquidity out. You will always have your stable coins. You can take your stable coins out. You may lose a little bit to impermanent loss, but it's not going to be, you know, uh, the disasters that could come with a rug pull. Uh, farming is much better. Uh, don't just buy these tokens. It's way too speculative. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the chart regardless. So for any of these ones that are not on TradingView, I go to chartx.pro. And we are on Regal. Regal Finance. Okay, very distributional pattern, but I mean, it's super liquid. Not a lot going here. Yeah, just more of the same. So, you know, we're, we're taking the stairs up, just higher highs, higher lows. Keep it simple. You know, this is, this is kind of how it works. You know, you have your change of character at the buyer's climax, you get a, re a retracement in price, you get a rally off of that that breaks the local um, resistance line, creating a new resistance line at the change of character and the cycle, you know, the trend continues until the trend is, it doesn't continue. The trend is your friend until it ends. So let's go down to the four hour, just get a little bit more information. Yeah, you know, um, it's potentially, you, you could potentially buy it down here uh, near the support line. Uh, be very careful. Whenever you're, if you were to buy this token, which I don't recommend, I would strongly recommend that you just farm it. But um, if you were to buy it, you know, basically put in your stop loss as the entire investment. So if you are somewhat used to trading and you kind of, you know, have a, a little bit of understanding as to risk management and how to size your positions and how to, um, you know, figure out how much your stop loss is going to be, put in your stop loss only. Don't not just take a typical position inside of an asset like this because you're going to get spanked more than likely. So uh, that would be my recommendation. First, I would say just, you know, provide liquidity and farm it. Second, if you were to buy it, just a small amount, guys. This is venture capital. This is high risk stuff. This is rug pull material. Anytime you got a copycat, you have to be suspicious. Uh, not, am I investing in this? No, I'm not. Am I farming it? No, I'm not. So full disclosure, not touching this. But if you would like to stay informed as to some of the trades that I do take and some of the projects that I am highly interested in, then I encourage you to join the private bear den. So we have a fantastic community full of traders practicing the Wyckoff method, doing these very, we're posting profitable setups every single day. And uh, you know, if you want to kind of level up your ability to trade, level up your analysis, uh, then I encourage you to join us in the den. Anyways, that is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed the content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there are any projects that you would like me to take a look at, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, please trade safe. It's a jungle out there. Peace.